Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you another title animation. Let's take a look at what we'll be creating today. Alright guys, open up your hit film express. From the template, I'll choose 1080p at 60 frames per second. You're free to choose any other template. And then click on start compositing. Click on this cog icon to open up the composite shot properties. I'm going to set the duration to 3 seconds. And click on OK. And by the way, my workspace is set to compositing. You can just click on this icon and from the workspace select compositing. And also uncheck the trimmer option to hide the trimmer window. Let's create a background for our animation. So I'm just going to click on New Layer, then click on Plane. I'm going to rename this to BG. I'm just going to create a new text layer. Set the width and height to 200. I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to type in just the first letter of my text. So the text that I'm going to type in is actually fish. I don't know why I chose that word. It just came up in my mind. So what I'm going to do is to create that uh, rise animation that you earlier saw. You just have to type in the first letter of your text. So uh, I'm going to type in F and hit control A to select that text. I'm going to change the font to Eurofrance, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm going to select the font weight. Uh, I'm going to change the font weight to regular and also increase the font size. Let's make it a hundred and font color is white. And also let's just align this text to the center by clicking on this icon that says center alignment. In the effects tab, search for 1080p title save guide effect and apply it on your BG layer. And that way we you'll be able to um, find the middle point of your animation. It's going to rename this layer to F, create a new text layer, the same width and height, click on OK. Select the text tool and type in the second, le le second letter. I'm going to type in I and just use the selection tool and just put this text right over here. I'm going to rename this layer to, um, I'm going to rename it to I. Create a new text layer. Select your text tool and this time I'm going to type in S, select the selection tool and just bring this letter to the right like that. And I'm going to rename this to S, create a new text layer. One last time and click on OK. Select your text tool, type in the last letter of your text, which is in my case, it's H. So I'm just going to put this right over here and rename this layer to H. I'm just going to rearrange these layers. So I'm going to select the F layer, the fourth layer. I'm just going to put it at the top, followed by I and then S. I'm going to select all these four text layers. I'm just going to bring it in the center like that. And also I'll just put it below this line, which is going through the through the viewer right here. All right, guys, it's time to animate our text. So I'm just going to animate the first letter, which is the F go inside the transform we'll animate the position so make sure your playhead is at the first frame of your video create a position keyframe there and let's move 30 frames forward in time and it's going to raise this text to the top uh, to around let's do 20 select these two keyframes convert them to manual bezier then go to value graph select this handle and just drag it to the left like that and just basically have to do the same with all the other three layers. Now select our I layer, the second text layer. I'm going to transform, make sure playhead is at the first frame of your video. Okay, the position keyframe. Move to the 30th frame of your video and just type in 20 here. Select these two keyframes, convert them to manual bezier. Go to value graph and just create a slope like this. Go to the third layer. And do the same thing make sure the player is at the first frame create a position keyframe and move to the 30th frame and type in 20 right there in the position and was the convert the keyframes to manual bezier go to value graph and just bring it to the left and same thing with our fourth text layer So this is how our animation will look. Now it's time to create another plane layer. Name it mask. 
I'm going to change this gray. Choose. I'm just going to change the color to this gray color, and click on OK. I'm going to put this layer on top of that uh, line which is in the middle. And um, in the effects tab, search for Set Matte Effect and apply it on your first text layer. With the Controls tab, and you can just expand your Set Matte. Change the source layer to mask and set the blend to subtract. And what that will do is if I can just hide my mask layer, you'll see that your F letter, the first letter of your text, will only appear outside that uh, mask, a mask area. Just like that. So we need to apply the set mat and all the other three letters. So I'm just going to quickly copy it. I'm just going to highlight all these three text layers. And right click on it and click on paste and that will paste the set mat and all these three layers so you'll have something like this now to create that uh, pop-up effect or the rising if kind of effect what you have to do is select your third layer uh, or the second text layer just have to shift it to the right by about five frames I'm just going to select my uh, S letter or the fourth layer I'm just going to bring it right underneath the third layer and now I'll just shift it to the right by about five frames on do the same thing on the H letter bring it below our S layer and then shift it to the right by about five frames now you'll have this kind of animation now you can just get rid of the BG uh, you can get rid of the title safe effect we don't need that anymore and let's see our overall animation and that's it guys that's how we create the rising pop-up whatever animation in hit film express so i hope this tutorial was helpful if this tutorial was helpful please do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video peace